What's up everybody? I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I am going to give you guys an at-home workout that you can do to improve your Muay Thai skills and also learn how these skills are applicable for self-defense. You do not need any equipment for this workout. If you have a mat or a soft surface that you can do this on, that would be beneficial, but it's not required. If you're already familiar with the techniques that I show in this video, you can just fast forward to the end of the video and just get the quick summary of the workout. But if you are not familiar with these techniques, then watch the breakdown and the step-by-step -step instruction on how to do these techniques properly. And then you can do the workout at the end. We need to get into our fighting stance, which in self-defense, we call this our defensive stance, right? So if you are right-handed, you're gonna stand with your left foot forward and your right foot back in an orthodox stance. And if you are left-handed, everything's gonna be opposite in a softball stance, right leg forward, left leg back, okay? So I'm gonna explain everything in this video from a right-handed perspective, but if you are left-handed, just do the complete opposite of everything that I show. So we're in our stance, and we're gonna do a basic jab cross. So we always have our hands at our chin, they're gonna start at our chin, and they're gonna finish at our chin. We don't wanna drop our hands because our hands help protect our face, and our elbows help protect our body. So our jab is our lead hand, which for orthodox is your left hand. And we don't just punch with our arm, we punch with our whole body. We turn our whole body into the punch, okay? So this is our jab. Straight up, straight back. Keep that elbow in tight. Make sure you're not chicken winging it. Keep it in nice and tight and extend through the whole body. Make yourself as long as you can. So your cross is the same thing on the other side, the right side. This is your power punch. Same thing, start and finish at the chin, straight out, straight back, turn the whole body and the feet into the punch, every time. Obviously knowing how to throw a proper punch, but knowing how to put your whole body into the punch is very important as well. So you're not just throwing a punch, but you're throwing a punch that's effective. using our knees. So your knees are very bony and your legs are also very powerful and a knee can be a very effective strike in Muay Thai and in self-defense. So you're in your stance, you start with your hands at your chin, you're going to reach forward like you're grabbing onto the attacker's shoulders and you're going to pull them into the knee and then back into the stance. So we want to use the leg that's in the back because that's going to feel the most natural and it's going to be the most powerful. Reach forward, grab, pull them into the knee, back to the stance. Now when I knee, I'm not just bringing my knee up. I'm bringing my knee up and then I'm driving my hips forward into it as well. Now for this exercise, we obviously want to practice both knees. So we're going to switch our stance so we can practice the left knee now. Front kicks are a great kick that you can use to create space and distance from someone that is approaching you. So when we do a front kick, we're trying to kick with the bottom of our foot, preferably not the toes, ball of the foot, flat part of the foot, the heel, anything but the toes, all right? In our stance, we're gonna start with the right leg. So you're gonna bring the knee up into the chest, curl yourself in a ball, and then extend all the way out, like you're trying to kick the door open. So a lot of it comes from our hips. Power in the hips. Not just like this, like this. Boom. Always come right back to the stance. Don't switch your stance for this one. When you do the left leg, put all your weight back on that back leg, lift it up, kick. Let's put our jab cross and our knees together into a combination. Now we've learned how to throw a jab cross, a knee, and a front kick. 
So now we're going to put all those strikes together into a combination. So the combo is going to be jab, cross, right knee, and then right front kick. Boom. So let's try to go a little bit faster as we get more comfortable with it. Your next combo is going to be the same thing, except your knee and your kick are going to be on your left leg this time. This last little exercise is meant to get your heart rate up and work on your conditioning because anytime you're in a fight, it's going to be tiring, it's going to wear you out, so we want to make sure that we are conditioned and we have the endurance to last. The combo is going to be jab, cross, jab, cross. Then you're going to do a burpee into a push-up. If you find yourself in a situation where you have to use strikes to defend yourself, you're probably going to have to throw more than one or two strikes. So putting all of these strikes together in a combination Going to make it a lot more likely for you to get away to safety because the goal really isn't to win the fight right in muay thai we have a winner at the end of the fight the referee raises their hand that's not what we're going for in self-defense our goal is to get to safety 